Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Today's video we are going to be doing something a little bit different but something I think will be a little bit fun. So I'm going to go through after a couple of requests on my Instagram. Uh, I got a few DMs about it and I got a few on Facebook and also got some comments on the previous video when I did my makeup organization video. Uh, a few people requested that I do a, how I do my makeup because obviously you don't see me in makeup a lot on the channel um, because I'm basically just going to sweat it all off when I'm cleaning. So today I'm going to go through kind of how I do my makeup. Um, I'm just patting this. I'm just, it's very warm here. I've done moisturizer and stuff like that and sunblock already cleansed, tones, um, tones, toned and moisturized before I started. Um, because you know you gotta let that stuff set in. Um, and also because I was out earlier on today, so I had to tell myself. Um, anyway, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm not claiming to be a professional makeup artist in any way. Disclaimer: This is just what I do. I'm not telling you what you should do. Um, yeah, I did beauty training in the past. Um, I didn't finish the course, but I learned, I've picked up a few good tips over the way. And then the rest of my tips I picked up, like most of you on YouTube. So I'm going to go through kind of how I do my makeup. I keep it quite natural, quite neutral, quite subtle. Um, I do a bit of like, I like, I like a highlight, I love a bit of sparkle. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I do that for kind of like my day look. If I'm going to say like an event. And then to transition into a night look and kind of keep it quite simple and basic. Um, anyway, if you find this video helpful, please give it a like down below. Um, and share it to your friends if you think anyone would find it helpful or enjoyable. Um, I'd also say um, if you enjoy this kind of content, we do a lot of homewares in this channel. And we're kind of going to branch into more lifestyle and stuff like that over the next couple of months. Um, but yeah, please subscribe. Um, I know from my check my analytics and stuff like that. That a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of you guys um, who watch my channel are not subscribed. And I think you should, if you enjoy it, please subscribe down below. Because um, it really does help me out and helps out my channel. Um, and it really lets me know that you're enjoying the content I'm making. Um, and the kind of stuff that I'm doing. So this hairband's already fallen off. But if it holds up the front of my hair in place for the moment, it'll do fine. I, I looked for my other one, I couldn't find it. So anyway. Um, so I'm going to use also, you're going to see me use a couple of brushes and kind of alternate through them. You probably saw these in the last video. This is the, I can't remember the name of this brush. It's like the bronzing something or another. This brush anyway is by Benefit. It's part of the Hula collection um, as far as I remember. So if you find the Hula contour stick, you'll find this nearby. Um, I don't know the price. I'll try and list it in the description box down below. This is just a Benefit, normal Benefit foundation brush. This is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, which I found really good for contour also. It's so soft. Um, and then this one here is the Pointed Foundation Brush. I like this for doing like concealer and stuff like that. I find that quite good and it blends really well. And then I have my Beauty Blend. So the first product I'm using is the Pore Professional Pore Primer. I also like the Pearl Primer, but since it's kind of a day look, I'm just going to use this one. And if you guys see me looking over here, um, it's just because that's where my mirror is. Um, I could have notions and try and do this without a mirror, but uh, that won't end well. Got it all Stuff. Um, if you guys also would like to see more videos like this, or to try things like this, let me know. Um, and I will have, I definitely will be willing to try, to try that. Um, and also I always push up with the skin. You'll see me pressing up a lot. Uh, because gravity, gravity naturally drags your skin down. So, you know, you don't need to help it. It'll go down itself and it's all good time. You don't need to aid in a bit and assist the process. Do you say I love you? Ooh, 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 and all the things that you do. Ooh, 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 sounds like so this is the Pore Professional Pore Minimizing Makeup. And this is also from Benefit. And this is in the shade 2. That's what it looks like there. Hope you guys can see that okay and that focuses up okay. Um, as I said, I'm using a slightly different setup today, so I can't see the screen of my camera. So, I hope this turns out okay. But yeah, so this really easy. It has the press button here. What I like with this as well is it comes with its own sponge. So what you do is you just put your around... Oh, what I forgot to do. There's also a little metal ball inside. I don't know if you can hear that. So what you do is you just give it a good shake before you use it. And the girl on the benefit counter did say to make sure you shake it really well before you use it. Just to make sure all the product and all everything's mixed well together. And then you take your lid off and you just put, sorry, pop that lid down. 
you just put two to three drops onto the sponge and the sponge will absorb it quite well. Now also this is a brand new sponge that I've just washed. Usually it absorbs straight away. I'm just popping in because this is a freshly used sponge. So I'm gonna give it an extra drop as well. And then I just apply, oh, I'm sorry I'm dropping stuff. I just apply this to the skin in circuit your motions. Um, and I gotta say guys, a little of this, um, a little of this foundation goes a long way. And I gotta be careful, especially with this area here. I have lines here which they call the which they call eleven lines, um, and these are for these are for me squinting like this um, for years because I needed glasses and I didn't want to get glasses <laughs> basically. And then I had glasses on, I just didn't wear the glasses. There's a fine line between looking tanned and dirty. So I'm sure many of you know, but in case you don't, it's a very fine line between looking tanned and dirty. So always make sure as well that you are blending down. And I know I'm sure some of you are looking here going, it's on your neck, on your neck. Um, I haven't blended yet, so don't worry about that. But yeah. Also, very important point as well, when you, you're using the beauty blender, one of the reasons you dampen the sponge, from my knowledge is, number one, so it doesn't drag the skin, but also doesn't soak all the makeup the second it hits it. I've tried, written down the words to say, it is time, I've been waiting for... So what I'm using here, sorry I didn't tell you guys, is... Um, Benefit Boeing Airbrush Concealer in the colour, in the shade number two. Um, I'm using number two because I use the number two foundation, so... Yeah. So I'm just going to have a quick look and see where this needs to be applied. So I'm going to have a quick look off the side to my mirror. Mm -hmm. One thing I'll notice is if I do continue to do these kind of videos, or even from this one, um, I don't use full coverage products. I don't like them. Um, you can still see like my freckles and skin blemishes and all that kind of stuff through it and that kind of stuff. Um, I don't like um, full coverage products. Uh, I don't like them on my skin. I, I think they feel horrible. Some people love them. Um, I just think they highly resemble matte emulsion um, and wall paint. <laughs> and no shade to you because I know so many f people that like them. Um, my best friend loves a medium to full coverage. She loves a full coverage finish and she when she does her makeup, it's flawless. Like, she is incredible at makeup. Uh, totally self-taught as well. She's unbelievable. She can do anything with makeup. Um, she's actually unreal doing, like, makeup and contour. And she's taught me a lot about makeup as well. Um, but she loves full coverage products. Um, whereas I cannot tolerate them on my skin. I think they're so, like, heavy. And I know some people, when they get that really, like, full coverage, beautiful, they absolutely love that. Um, I can't stand it. Drives me nuts. Um, which is also one of the reasons I didn't wear makeup for a long time. Because like a couple of years ago. Well, a good few years ago now. But, you know, foundation was like liquid foundation, pan stick. Um, you know, powder. They were your options. And all of them were like full coverage, medium to full coverage. Um, whereas I like this kind of benefit. A lot of the benefit stuff because it's, um, it's buildable coverage. So you can go full coverage. But it starts off kind of light to medium. Just goes away. Like a lot of people, I didn't appreciate my skin in my twenties. I was like, it'll be like this forever. Nope. If you're in your twenties and you're watching this, take care of your skin. Start now. If you do nothing else, if you don't moisturize, you don't tone, you don't cleanse, you do any of that, do one thing SPF every single day. Um, if you really, really want a tan, you can get it out of a bottle there. Um, is it the best concealer I've ever done in my entire life? Under eye conceal? No. Is it gonna have to do? Yeah. Hey, it's gonna be fun. Have fun with it. Practice. Try this. If you like this, try this. If you like some other person's thing, try it. Uh, an excellent person who I can recommend for makeup tutorials that I watch. Again, not sponsored or anything. I just really like her. Bailey Sarian. She's savage at makeup. She does murder or mystery makeup. If you like true crime, watch her. She's awesome. Um, I watch Rach Loves. Her makeup is unbelievable she's savage i mentioned her in my other video she did the collaboration with pixie the pixie palette she's unbelievable um sylvia ganny's unbelievable makeup artists um oh my god guys there's so many i watch um wayne goss is amazing watch him he's incredible um but yeah look around find your style find tutorials of people who do makeup the way you like to do it the way looks you like 
you know, and you'll find your way. And if you're great at makeup, then leave me tips in the description. Leave me tips down below. And if you're just learning, look around, try different things. Try stuff. Yeah, put on a crazy colour and it might not look good, but you know, you've tried. So anyway, rant over. So this one here is the Hula Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit. I hope that focuses up. Um, I'm quite sure, is this a colour? No, I'm pretty sure this only comes in one colour. But yeah, so I'm going to throw this on. This is the contour how I like to do contour. And didn't say, not saying it's the right way. But it's the way I do it. So I keep this very low. And some people will use the brush to apply this. I don't. I just use the stick and then use the brush to blend. Obviously, if you're a professional makeup artist or whatever. Or you're doing a lot of makeup on other people. Oh, that's just in my hair. Um, You're probably going to use a brush. A reason I'm angling as well is I'm letting the natural light hit my cheek and you can kind of start to see the hollow in there. Um, well, yeah, the best piece of advice I got on this is we <clears throat> dark for what you want to conceal or to push away, highlight for what you want to bring forward. Okay. And this also, the kind of method I use is called the number three method or the number three something I can't remember the I'm sorry, I'm just trying to catch the light on this one. Oh, it's a bit low. So basically this looks like the letter E. Or the number three. And yes, currently. I do. I look insane. But that's cool. All part of the process to get us here. I like this well because there's not like, you know, loads of work to you. So you draw it on your face. Mm. Now what I do at this point is I kind of look here and I look there. And I kind of go, you know, are we even? The problem with this as well is most of this is probably going to blend into my face and going to disappear. And again, this is really the point where you find out, you know, um, the difference between contoured and dirty. <laughs> is a fine but distinct line. So what I generally do with this bit here is I just use this to kind of um blur if you want to if you want to call it that. I do like the kind of base blend. It's also super important to blend here uh, especially with the hairline. I think that's a big thing you see people have the most incredible contour and then they have the quiet patch or like a really like pale patch or like a different completely different color the foundation if you have a darker skin tone as well your foundation color is slightly different up here i might love to use this brush for this yeah no i'm not i'm not i apologize i don't know why i always do that like i'm magically gonna be able to yeah, be dexterous. What I'm doing is I'm just I'm sure I'm not actually gone there because I don't have the slimmest face in the world. So you know, it can be hard to see. I hope you guys can still see me. Okay, I just try bring you a little bit closer. You can see what I'm doing. Now, also, all benefit um, blushes come with these. And I usually do use them, but for right now, I'm not going to because I don't want to. So, I'm going to use the sculpting brush from Real Techniques. Oh, yeah, and I'm using the Dandelion Twinkle um, highlight from Benefit. This is very glittery. If you don't like a glittery highlight, this is not for you. If you do, this one's awesome. So I always tap the brush into the thing, get rid of any excess, and then just go in. On my high points. As well as if you're not sure where the high points in your face are, you're not. If you've got, you know, you're not, you're new to all this and you're not really sure. Another thing to do is literally stand in the sun and literally turn your face. You can probably see that beautiful highlight. I love it so much. Um, anyway, 
you do that in the sun and look at where the sun hits your face. They're the high points of your face. Do is let you know that we touch my hand. It all goes away. The things are oh, my nose is fierce shiny. So then again, you can use this brush here just to kind of buff it out. Or like to tone it down a bit if you use, say, too much or whatever. This brush is great, and it's the one thing the girl then the girl then could tell me. This can go from powder to liquid, back to powder, back to liquid. You know what I mean? To cream in the blink of an eye. And I have to agree with her, it does. I don't find like it clumps. You know, like if you use a powder product followed by like a cream product, it, uh, you get it, they get it off a clumpy. This one, I don't think this one doesn't. I don't know what the heck the hairs are made of. I can't, I'm sure she told me, but I don't remember. But yeah, it can get off a clumpy. This just here is me mainly just blending it and just dispersing it a little bit more so it's not like really harsh like lines. If you like harsh lines, then go ahead. Now, my nose is super sparkly. Oh, I forgot to blend here. Which is okay because I'm going to set it later. So I don't mind if it's a little bit over sparkly because I do still have to set it. So it's all good. This is the Professional Agent Zero Shine Shine Vanishing Pro Powder in the color, the color that it is in. It only comes in one color, this one here. So yeah. So what I generally like to do at this stage is, if this comes with a brush built into the bottom of it, pop off the lid, and screw the lid. And then what I do is twist this here and just you just tap a little bit of powder. Yeah. You guys can even see in there. That's very, very little powder. Hope that will focus up. Anyway, so what I usually do is I dip in that powder and I just put it under here. Again, if this works really well as well if you have a loose powder. Um, and this is just to catch any like fallout from the eyeshadow. Because we're going to dust it off at the end, so like baking if you bake a lot of people bake especially um anyone with under eye creases or anything like that they bake leave the powder to sit and then swipe it off um i have neither the time nor the patience for baking so with that in mind i do not bake so i i forgot a couple of brushes so fluff shadow brush hard liner just you know your thin brush um lip brush i don't know if i use that but you know brush um or eyebrow brush it's just a powder setting brush because I need it. And then there's my fan brush just to remove my extra excess when I'm done. So also between stages as well, um, I just like to do this just to cool myself down a bit because it's it's very warm in this room. And just while I'm recording this video, um, when I'm recording this video, I have the windows closed just because the outside noise, traffic and stuff. Um, it's quite a busy road outside. So I want you guys to be able to hear me. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna keep going anyway. So yeah, I'm not that fancy with the uh, with the uh, eyeshadow today. I like a really subtle eyeshadow. Um, so I'm actually gonna use, which some people might think is insane. I don't know. Anyway, what I like to use for eyeshadow, I actually use a beautiful color for eyeshadow, is California by Benefit. Yes, yes, this is a blusher, but I'm gonna use it today for my eyes because I freaking want to. Um, also, it's a beautiful shade on the eyes. I think it's a gorgeous color. Let's look at that color. It's so nice. Anyway, as before, I'm gonna pat it very gently on the eyes. Hope you guys can see me. So I've got the small mirror here in front of me just to give me a better idea of what I'm doing. And yeah, I have other shadows there, but I just kind of felt like using this pinky color today. And this also kind of a look I do quite regularly. Um, and this actually happened. The reason this happened is because the first time I did this, I forgot to bring eyeshadow. And this is all I had, so I was like, do you know what? That'll do grand as an eyeshadow. Suit me, fine. You feel inside. Uh, I've done quite a quite an amount on it, but that's also because um, there will be certain to follow as long as I blend it. Um, but also, I just like a nice bright colour. Because, you know, it's summer and... Summer and Ireland may not last for very long. It could be gone in two weeks. Um, but yeah, no, I, I just really like colour. I like a bright colour. I think it's just fun. It's summery. It's cute. And I really like it. So I'm just going to clean up these corners. 
I get a very, very, very light layer of this. So as you can see, there is quite a pigment payoff on this. And get right up there in into the lash. I hope you guys can see this okay. Right up under the lashes here. Right. Does your bond, like, I like to keep it quite subtle. And I know some of you might say subtle and you pick that colour. Like, yeah. But the thing is, this can work with any colour. If you want a more subtle kind of, I'd say autumnal look. And all, in autumn I go for more browns and neutrals. But in summer, every so often I like to do like a nice little, you know, bright colour. As well as that a reason I like this colour in the summer is because it transitions really well from day to night. The way the things are planned. What a lot of makeup artists like to do to really clean up a look. Yeah, you don't have to do this, but you can if you want. I'm just going to do it now for funsies. Um, is you can really get a really nice clean up with just some concealer. Just follow the shape. You see this line here underneath? You're basically just going following that up. And then just use your your sponge just to blend it through. Yes, should I have done my eyebrows before the video? Probably. Did I? No. Have I just realised that right now this second? Yes. Anyway. Just kind of gives a bit more polish. Now if you're doing as well a look with like blues and navies and purples and dark and really strong black colours like be or even this and like reds and oranges and you're going to get like probably something like this here. Hard right, on go brush with your concealer and just bring that up. Uh, both sides, just bring it right up. But I'm not trying to do that much precision because it's just day. Fun, kind of happy summery look. I am trying to do. Sometimes I'll use like the hula, just you know, in here, in the corner. Just get a nice corner, but you don't have to do that. <clears throat> Again, this can be as simple or as complicated as you like. Fluff shadow. And I'm using Dandelion Twinkle, as I used already for the highlight. And this is just to go into the inner corner. Just to open up the eye a bit. How I try, written down. The eye makes your eyes look so much more open. I think it also gives a beautiful definition to the inside of the eye. I hope you guys can see that okay. Baby. So what I generally do is I just go into the corner here and just do a quick little... One side always works better than the other. Touch my hand, it all goes. If you don't want to flick, don't do a flick. I'm not the best in the world at doing flicks, guys, I gotta be honest. That's why you usually do them a little bit wider and then clean them up. Now, you can use concealer to clean stuff up. But so easy with it because it can it can really cake around the eyes so just um no how i for right now i don't need to be perfect um if i have more time i'd probably clean it up a bit more but for now i'm kind of happy enough with how that's looking you may remember this one from earlier california oh, i don't like too much blush uh just like a little bit here of my more in the apples of the cheeks uh, a lot of that as well is because i'm naturally super pink I get pink and I get vet I get red very easily, so I don't really need much much blush on me. The way, the things are planned, the um so what I have here is the goof proof brow pencil. Benefit. Um, I'm not just gonna use it, but I'm just gonna let use the spoolion. As they say they'll do they'll do for now. They'll do for now. Great, 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 great product I am obsessed with is the Brow Contour Pro from Benefit. Mine is in the shade Brown Light, so you can get them in different shades. So it has different steps. It has your lighter shade, your deeper shade, your definer, and your highlighter. So. As far as I remember, you do the deeper shade at the front of the brow. 
And again, very lightly. My my brows are incredibly sparse at the front here. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of doing my lighter one down the bottom. Now I think I've actually overdone that a little bit. So sorry, I'm just going to use my spoolie now just to really. I find the spoolie is really useful for this. Really get it kind of blended into the brows. Or maybe she's done lighter to darker. I can't remember. I'll put it in text on the screen. Um, that's about it the last time, so it's fine. And this basically is the definer to basically clean up the eyebrow. If you guys can see what I'm doing there. For now, I'm just gonna use this clean foundation brush that'll do just to blend this in. Then the last one is the highlight. And remember, I mentioned to you guys before I was doing the highlight. Um, this. Uh, to me, these are very, very similar colors. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up properly. I hope it does, but they're like, they. So I, in my opinion, this is a liquid form of um, that's why. Yeah, just where I want to blend this line in here. Gorgeous. Now to brow number two. Now I keep rambling. I sound so cliche. What I am trying to do. I'm gonna use some Gimme Brow um, to set it. I'm just Gimme Brow Plus, I have both. This is Gimme Brow, this is in the shade three. And this is more just to keep them in place. Also, this is meant to be really good for, um, if you have brows you're trying to grow out or trying to thick them, this is really good for Gimme Brow Plus. Uh, and it's just gonna be really gentle because obviously I've put a lot of product in it already. And this is more just to set it than anything else. I'm just using this gel to get them really into the kind of, the final shape I want them to be in. Some people as well will start with this and if that's what you want to do and you feel comfortable doing that then that's what you should do. Now, and I like to have, like I have dark brows. I do naturally have dark brows. My hair is dark, but I don't like my look to just be brows and then other stuff. So this makeup look usually takes me about 20 to 25 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Uh, if I'm in a hurry, I can do it in about 12. It's literally like throw in the foundation, powder, Shadow, mascara, goodbye. Good luck. Um, but I kind of want to do something a little bit more for you guys. So the mascara I'm going to use here is um, Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. It's the one I really, really like. In, is there a colour on it? If there's different colours now, this is the original one. It's the black one. Uh, there's also, it's also available in blue, which I think is a really cute one. I'm just going to quickly put this on. Before I do that, and go and ruin everything. Um, I have my professional Agent Zero Shine, as I talked about before, powder. I'm gonna give that about five taps, very light taps. I'm gonna swirl it around on the brush. And then tap, 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 tap. This comes at the bottom of the thing, by the way. And then I'm just going to quickly circular motions. go over the whole face and set everything. At this stage now as well, usually after I set the powder, I just do the setting brush here. I usually just get a little quick, um, a bit more of the dandelion twinkle. I see I'm taking it very slow, but I'm trying to get right to the root of the lash. Um, and that's what gives you that lovely curl and kind of really lifts and opens the lash. So I kind of do left to right just to kind of get in between those lashes and really separate them. Like you can even see there. Sorry, let me just pick up these last two little bits I've missed. You can kind of see there's a little bit of clumping going on, which is telling me that this mascara is coming towards the end of its life because this mascara really doesn't clump. But you can even just see like the difference there between that with and without. It's huge, like this is a fantastic, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal mascara and I love it. 
Uh, but you can really see it there. Sorry, we're getting a bit of colour bone coming off the amber. I don't know why I'm talking like this. No, 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 no. Just really lift up these ends. It's really subtle. The pink is really subtle, but I think it gives a nice bright kind of summery look. But it's still quite natural. For last thing I forgot to add. Sorry guys, mascara in your eye just really throws you off your game. <laughs> you can't even remember what you're doing. So this here is the MYX um, Lip Lingerie. It's very kind of neutral nude pink. Um, to the colour Bedtime Flirt. I think. I could be wrong about that guys. Um, we're just going to ignore this whole situation. Okay, we're just going to pretend it's not there. So I have this pink um, soft precision lip liner. It's shade 74 from Inglot. So I'm going to use that now. So I'm just using this to really, really gently outline the lips. And you can see here with even the shade 74, it's, uh, it's very close to my lip color. I usually use this more than anything just to stop it bleeding. So, you can see even there, it's over half my lip there. I don't have very big lips, but I don't overline them. I don't, I just don't like how it looks on me. I don't think it suits me. So this is pretty much my simple day summer makeup look. But it'll, it's a little bit glam, it's a little bit glam. Um. We got some nice lashes on with the Bad Gal Lash um, and some nice twinkle highlight, which I really, really like about this. Uh, the reason that I really like this look is it's a simple look. You can add any colours to it. You can add your neutrals to it, browns. You can add like an orange for a nice contrast. Uh, you can add a lot more highlight. You can add a set of lashes. You can add anything. It's a very kind of neutral kind of palette. Again, I have a pink undertone on my skin. So I'm not on the peach variety. I'm on the pink variety. So that's why um, I have the kind of cooler tones. And that's why I can put the pink eyeshadow on it's quite it blends quite well with my skin again depending on your skin tone um if you're warm or cool skin tone i have a cool skin tone so but yeah so i hope you guys enjoy and like the look i hope you think it's cute and i hope maybe you'll give it a try if you do give me a try please go over onto my instagram uh at, at one day at a tidy on instagram or facebook and please send me a picture i'd love to see it now what i'm going to show you really quick is the really trick really quick transition of this look from day into night now again you could use look at night either if you like but if you want something a bit more i don't know zhuzhi for a night out this this transitions really quick just like that so i'll show you guys that now how i do that Okay, so really couple of really quick, simple um, things. So I just did a few quick close play of the makeup. Uh, I had to take off this MX laundry really quickly because once this dries, it will not come off. Like, trust me, I've tried. So this here is the Pixie by Petra in the shade. Oh yeah, so this is the Pixie by Petra. Um, Pixie Liquid Party, sorry, Liquid Fairy Lights in the shade Passion Light. So it's actually eyes, not lips. So this is just a really quick way to turn this look into an evening look really quick. Now we're going to add the liquid party lights to the eye. And this is where you're really going to see the glam, like the real glam. When we bring this light, this look from night into, or from day into night. I'd recommend as well with this when you're applying it, keep your eyelids shut. Because if you open your eye, it is going to go all over the top of your lid. And like, this is so quick. Like literally, it's a case of like, it's almost, it works almost like a lip gloss. The reason I'm opening it as well is just see to here, just to find my the crease of my eye and just bring it up to there. We can even see that now, just that little dab of colour. Um, I just want to make sure these are even. 
And again, you can see my patterns here, it's getting so much glitter payoff. And also why I like this as well is you're not messing around with glitter glue and having to buy extra products like glitter primers and stuff like that. And like literally it's this, this one tube, like, you know what I mean? Throw it in your bag. And then that already, I think it's gone from this beautiful, uh, I'm sorry, just clean it up there a little bit. I think it, yeah, it blends beautifully in with the pink. You can see the pink kind of radiating up into the, towards the brow while the little pink out, but I think it blends really well. It's a beautiful color with that. Um, of course as well, you can just, to refresh if you like. Reapply your brow highlight. I don't really need to do here, but just to kind of show you guys. If you were, if it was at night time, you would be doing this, but at least I just want to show you guys as well how quick it is. To literally go from day into night with this look. So you've applied your pixie and then just really quickly Okay. Sorry, this is the Precision Soft Soft Precision Lip Liner in the color in the shade 58 from Inglot. And for my lips, I am using their Real Red On from Benefit. Also in a little matte uh, color. So the way this comes is in this little tub, kind of like a diamond shaped tub. You pop it out, you got your mirror, and it comes with its own applicator brush, which I'm going to use. Anyway, I think after that you are left with a really nice, um, sorry, let me get a proper look with some light on me. I think you're left with a really pretty, sparkly, glam evening look that literally took me less than five minutes to go from day to night. And that's what I want. I want something that's quick, snappy. Um, you literally need three products to go, four, sorry, from day to night. And like literally you can do it in two. The products I use to go from day to night are the Liquid Fairy Lights in Passion Light by Pixie. Um, I use the Soft Precision Lip Liner in shade 58 from Inglot. I used their Real Red On by Benefit and the Dandelion Twinkle again, as I used earlier from Benefit. Again, you could do that with literally just those two. Um, they're Real and the Pixie Lights, literally, and you'd have the same look. Uh, if you don't want to line stuff, so you just have to be a lot more aware with your lining and stuff, um, with bleeding and stuff with that, with the lip color. Um, overall, though, I'm happy with how the look turned out. I think it transitioned well from day to night. And um, it's pretty cute. Again, you could at this stage, I'm not going to now because I said I don't want to irritate my eyes. What I usually would do as well is apply some more mascara. I'd either apply more Bad Gal Bang or I might try the Roller Lash for Benefit. I find that their um, mascaras work quite well together. Give me a second, see if I can lift these lashes and put more product on them. Um, give me one. Well, it's not really going to make much of a difference at this stage. Anyway, yeah, I'd reapply another layer of mascara and just to really get that lift going. Um, I just, as I said, I don't want to put any more mascara on my eyes now just because that eye's a little bit irritated already. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it fun and entertaining and maybe you learned something. Maybe you spent the entire time screaming at the screen being like, don't do it that way. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed making this. I thought it was quite fun. Um, we had some slow parts. We had some hiccups. We had some flat out eyeliner failures. Um, but yeah, it was really fun and I really enjoyed doing it. Um, and I'd like to do it again. So if you guys want to see another one, let me know. Um, and if you have any suggestions, um, or any sections you want to see again, let me know. Um, anyway, I'm just kind of doing some more, you know, different kind of style videos at the moment, just to mix it up a little bit and see what kind of different stuff you guys like. Um, because I make content for myself, obviously, but I also make it for you guys and I want to make videos that you want to watch and you're going to enjoy. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it here for today's video. I hope you guys have an incredible weekend ahead i hope you have a great rest of your friday and i hope you also have a wonderful week ahead of you 
and you are careful and stay safe and all that wonderfulness. And I will talk to y'all. I should have videos well next Friday. Yeah, I should do. Okay. But I'll talk to y'all then. Okay, love y'all. Bye.